Speaking of the UK, the actor Rowan Atkinson. Now, you only need to think of Mr Bean, who was hilarious. Black Adder, Johnny English, Love Actually. Uh, he wrote a piece in The Guardian in the UK over the weekend, and it was titled, I Love Electric Vehicles and I Was an Early Adopter, but Increasingly I Feel Duped. Now, joining me now is Scott Colley from Scar carexpert.com.au. Um, Atkinson, Scott, has uh, degrees in electrical and electronic engineering. He's got a, a master's degree in control systems, so he's clearly a genius. He's got a lifelong passion for the motor car and electric vehicles. What's upset him about his electric car? It's interesting to hear someone known for being so funny and for driving a beaten up old Mini saying really clever things about electric cars, but his worries essentially with what goes into making modern electric cars work. The batteries involve a lot of minerals like nickel, cobalt and lithium and mining them can be a dirty business. So although they're very clean from the tailpipe, there's no emissions when you're actually driving them, when you're putting them together and the cost of manufacturing them is very significant and takes quite a lot of driving to make up relative to a petrol car. So, Scott, with someone with a, a global uh, personality, he, he's massive around the world. For him to say this, that's going to prick the ears up of a few people, I would have thought, who, who are just listening to the religion of, oh, well, you've got to buy an electric car, it's the only way to go. People might now start to perhaps, Scott, uh, have second thoughts. Look, he's, he's not the only significant figure to be calling into question whether electric only is the future. We've heard some really big names in the motoring world as well say similar things. The boss of Stellantis, which is in charge of brands, everything from Peugeot all the way through to Ram trucks, has repeatedly hit out at what's going on in Europe and the fact that maybe there are alternative solutions to just going electric. And we're seeing brands like Toyota in Australia also call out the fact that Rather than electric cars being the only solution, decarbonisation needs to be the focus through everything from hybrids to hydrogen vehicles in some cases. I suppose the flip side of that is there's also a lot of brands that are going electric only. I mean, Volvo in Australia will only sell electric cars by 2027. So there is noise saying that maybe electric only isn't the future, but a number of big brands have committed to it. And given we don't build cars in Australia anymore, we are going to be seeing a lot more electric cars here. Scott, you're on the road a lot more than me, although I do a, a lot of kilometres a week. I must say I am seeing increasingly uh, larger numbers of electric vehicles. I mean, obviously, the Tesla stands out, but you're seeing a lot of the Hyundai models now as well. I've seen a couple of the Mercedes electric vehicles around as well. Uh, are sales of electric vehicles in this country starting to take off? Yeah, this year has been a real tipping point for electric cars in Australia. The sales are up close to 300% this year compared to the same point last year, and May was a massive month. And a huge part of that has just been supply. The Tesla Model Y and Model 3 have been really strong sellers. The Model 3 continuously outsells the Toyota Camry of all cars. But also brands like Audi, BMW and down the track Volkswagen are starting to roll out options that kind of look and feel like the cars that people already have and are priced closer to them, but obviously have electric power instead of petrol under the bonnet. And throughout this year, we're only going to see more cars come from really established brands and upstarts like BYD, who up until late last year, a lot of Australians had never heard of, but has rapidly moved into second place on the, the charts of electric car sales in Australia. Have we got the charging systems up and running properly yet? Uh, look, it's a work in progress, and it's one of the major frustrations that electric car owners who like to drive long distances feel. Uh, I know you've written about this before. Um, if you are doing long drives at the moment, although there is lots of charging infrastructure around Australia, uh, ChargeFox is the biggest provider, and it's recently been bought by the motoring clubs, uh, there are also lots of outages and plugs that don't work and, and problems like that that you would expect oh, well. of a, a nascent technology. That's the problem, Scott, and that's the reason why I uh, do start talking about the charging issues around the country. Thanks a lot, mate.